Hello, and welcome to Insightful Conversations with your host, Three Principles Practitioner, Del A.D. Jones. Join her each week as she welcomes some of the world's leading Three Principles teachers and practitioners who share how this understanding has dramatically improved the quality of their lives and the lives of those they work with. I'm so thrilled to have Aaron Turner with me today. Aaron has been working in the area of state of mind for 25 years. He started as a counselor working with individuals, families, and struggling couples. In every case and with every issue, the key factor was people's clarity of mind. In 2010, he founded One Thought, and in the last 10 years, he has worked almost exclusively with leaders and organizations, highlighting the central role of state of mind in leadership, sales, and day-to-day interactions. Earlier this year, Aaron launched an online course in state of mind for the public, to make a fundamental understanding of the mind more widely available. His hope is that as a better understanding of the mind becomes more common, resilience, well-being, contentment, richer relationships, and the many other benefits of higher levels of clarity become more the norm than the exception in our society. Hi, Aaron. It's so lovely to finally have you here. I've been chasing you for about a year. (laughs) (laughs) And thank you for that too. Oh, it's so great to have you here. So um, I, I really want to hear about your latest projects that sound mm-hmm. very exciting. But before yeah. we get to that, I yes. want to hear about how you came across the principles and how they impacted you, both professionally and personally. Yes. Well, it, it, it's, it, I'll try to keep it at a reasonable length, but it's a long story on account of my stubbornness. You know, it took a while. So. Um, I came across the principles in my late teens. Um, I was at university um, and my aunt and uncle, who were George and Linda Pransky, were some of the relatives that I went to visit on my first summer holiday at university. So I thought, well, I'd love to see my relatives. I'd love to travel. I don't really have very much money. So I went, I kind of toured my uh, American relatives. Um, and when I visited my uh, relatives in, in Lacona, Washington, George and Linda Pransky, who at that time, unbeknownst to me, were really pioneering the principles as a new understanding within psychology, a new basis on which to understand and work with people and look after your own mental health, really. Uh, George sat me down because um, he told me later that, you know, he he saw me when I was seven, eight, nine, ten years old, and obviously I was a very, like most young kids, a very vivacious, free-minded, free-spirited kid. Well, by the time I was eighteen, oh my god, I, I was so burdened in analytical thought. I lived as if I had to think of everything. Literally, had like, what shall I say? What shall I do? When shall I eat? Will I be hungry late? I mean, I was just. And as a result, I was massively um, shut down. Like I I was thinking so much, I didn't really have an external existence. (laughs) I didn't live in the world with everybody else. Um, And uh, a lot of the things I thought were worth thinking were worries and and self-consciousness. So I had social anxiety and none of it bothered me. I thought... I was good with it, like I had a high tolerance, but, and so I wasn't looking for help. Like lots of my friends had tried to help me, like, Aaron, you think too much, you're not happy, why don't you come to this workshop? And I, was, I, I thought thinking about yourself was a waste of time and a distraction. And actually, anyone who cared how they felt was just weak. That was my basic come from. <laughs> because i saw oh look i can carry on and function just fine feeling bad feeling good and and actually i was raised that way in some ways like my mum taught me you don't want to adjust what you do based on how you feel you just you just you you carry on and that was a form of resilience that 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 in some ways served me well and in, in some ways didn't so George sat me down and said, hey, look, we're doing this. We're really into this new psychology. It's really exciting. I think you should kind of take an interest because I didn't have any life plans at that point. I was just at college. And I thought, you know, it's funny in hindsight, because like if your uncle pulls you aside and says, hey, we're into this world changing innovation. 
the not you don't think wow you think yeah yeah right sure because <laughs> the chances are minimal right it's just yeah. not likely you know it's very unlikely it's more likely that your uncle is easily satisfied easily entertained and like into his own thing that's much more likely so and I was a very aloof critical discerning thinker so I you know I thought everyone else but me was a little bit more of an idiot than I was <laughs> and so I just kind of thought yeah yeah nice I'm so happy for you but it's not for me you know and God bless him, he really did take it on himself for me to get the benefit of it. So I would visit them year in, year out, because I really liked them. And when I visited, they would put me on programs. And when they put me on programs, I would spend the entire time thinking how stupid everybody was. Because my model was intelligence is being critical. And these people were utterly uncritical. They were just open and happy and light and I just thought they must just be happy idiots and I was happy for them but just again it wasn't for me you know and uh, so George changed tack which was good but the interesting thing about that part Dell, is I was utterly uninterested I thought everybody that worked there was somewhat uh, of a what do they call it somewhat of a, of a simple sucker <laughs> and I thought what I heard them telling me is you should feel good. It's all about feeling good. You should feel good. And I thought, no, it's not. I'm not an emotional hedonist and I don't think that's a good idea. So each to their own. Right. But weirdly, like really, really weirdly, something about it got in. Like not, nothing that I respected or nothing that I noticed. But if I look back, over this, you know, three, four years that that was happening, my anxiety, my thinking did suffer, did soften somewhat. It really did. And I kind of something happened, but nothing, nothing. I just think it's interesting that I took something in, even though I intended to block it all out. I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. But it came to the point where because I was such a thinker, my people skills were rotten. So like if I would turn up to an interview, they'd be like, are you coming to the interview or what's happening here? Like, like had I been a coder, I'd have been fine. Like had coding existed at that time, mm -hmm. I would have been amazing. Or had I gone into engineering, I'd have been fine. But I'd gone the social sciences route and I wanted to be a researcher. And I thought you can't get a job until you got experience. You can't get experience until you get a job. This is a crazy world really i was really not much to talk to because i wasn't really there so i didn't interview well so nobody wanted me oh. that's kind of what happened so george offered me a research job he says why don't you research what i'm doing see you can compare it to all these other psychologies because he was writing a book at the time to do that and i was like fantastic i can't take your word for it i have to observe it and so I went to live with them in Lacona for six weeks. And I did two things. One thing is I, I, I studied respectfully what they were teaching. Like what is the elements that they're teaching? So I studied the principles. What's mind? What's thought? What's consciousness? How does it work? And because it was my job, I was a student of it for the first time ever. And then I compared it to other psychologies. And what I discovered is they have a bona fide, they have a bona fide, I don't know, framework. And it is a radical, innovative departure from what already exists in two or three meaningful ways. And, and that, as a researcher, that stood out to me. I was like, wow, that's interesting. What, I'll be darned. At the same time, I was sitting in with clients and I saw the results of that framework, right? So... I saw people come in with problems like a couple with infidelity or a guy going to prison. I waited for George to help them with those problems by discussing those problems. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. He never talked about anything that I could link to what they came in the door for. I, I couldn't do that. And yet people changed dramatically they went from suffering insecurity desperation confusion conflict to confidence ease and what really blew my mind Dell, is in that confidence and ease that came out of nowhere 
without them really learning how to do it, they, they were not troubled by the things that had previously stumped them when they were suffering. And it was undeniable. It's like people came in with a marriage problem. They felt better for some unknown reason. And they didn't have that same, that same problem was not a stumbler for them. They still saw it, but they're like, yeah, fine. I see how to handle that. And it humbled me really what happened is it humbled me. I'm like, I don't understand that. I can't explain that. They didn't know on day one. And on day four, they know everything they need to know. And nobody told them because I was here the entire time. And, I, and, and it really was, a, it really was um, that's when, in a way, I got the opportunity to have a new understanding and a new life and a new personality because I realized they know something I don't know. And that, that was enough because... It's weird, isn't it, that you could be 18, 19, 21, 23 years old and think, you know, no, no I've, I've pretty much got it all now. So that's it now. I'm just working with what I got. And that's wild to me. So from then I became a student, an utter student. And I would go to everything. Leela and I would go to Lacona every year, all summer. I'd sit in on staff meetings and clients and group meetings. And I, uh, it 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 a whole new understanding came to me about what life was things that i had had inklings of my entire life but had never kind of coalesced into an, a full appreciation and everything changed in my life my career took off my relation that I, I had a relationship that lasted longer than 3 months for the first time ever every single relationship before then was 3 months long for some unknown reason that came apparent uh, and that relationship's still going now, 25 years later. Um, and uh, I started enjoying life and I realized I wasn't socially anxious and I enjoyed people and I did like idle chit chat. And it, it was just unbelievable. It's like a whole new discovery of what was within me kind of came out. And, and, and really, I'm still a student of it today because there's unlimited discovery and and um five years later i asked george if he would train me because i wanted to be able to pass this on to others because i could see it, it wasn't just me that was suffering from not knowing it there were entire professions and populations and so i wanted to be able to pass it on and um and then then the last 20 years I've been kind of working with people one way or another first as a counselor then as a consultant and then learning as I go that's amazing I'm so glad I asked that question <laughs> I had no realized had no idea you were you struggled so much in the beginning um, oh but, yeah I was <laughs> not interested <laughs> That's so funny. I can just picture it, actually, the whole scene. Um, so, OK, so back to today and what you do today, because I know you work with organizations yes. and um, and a lot of stuff like that. But I know that right now you've developed a new program, an online program, because you yes. want to bring this understanding and this yeah. and talk about state of mind. So tell me a bit more about that. Well, it, it started. Re well, is it okay if I go back a little bit? Oh, yeah, please. It's yeah. So I've always, like when I started working in this field, the thing that fascinated me the most was the link between what happened in people's lives and their understanding of the principles. Because when people understand the principles, they realize you can find different levels of clarity. And in different levels of clarity, your relationship, your life, your experience, it all changes. Nothing actually changes, but everything changes for you. So when we work within organizations and people see that they're in a state of mind and they gain an understanding that allows them to find a clearer mind and not to suffer the negative effects of the un, what I think of as distorted states of mind, everything changes. Negativity stops being viral. People have goodwill. They love what they're doing. All the outputs change. And because of where I started, I've always been interested to help people that didn't want help. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. And because that was me. It's like, exactly. 
I was walking around with my head in a bucket thinking it was the whole world and, 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 and like, leave me alone. I'm great. And, you know, and, and I've always, that's why I love working with businesses because you step into a room of people that don't want to be there, don't want to know what you've got to say and think they're good already. And when they start to wake up to what's actually happening and what's, what's weighing on them and what's possible, it's just the most wonderful thing for them. And it's a great thing to be a part of. So my vision has always been the principles allows us to have a new normal where well-being is standard rather than stress and anxiety and responsibility, you know, but the burden of adulthood and you can have rich relationships and you can have resilience and you can look after yourself mentally. You know, you can look after your own mental clarity and mental health. So um, we, in line with that, I, I, I realized that there isn't, there isn't a accessible, affordable resource for people that aren't, that want to learn from scratch. Now, in, originally I was thinking people that aren't interested, but now I've realized it's much <laughs> bigger, that, that people that want to learn from scratch, but are not really, it doesn't make sense to them to, to buy a big program or bring it to their company or make a major investment of time or money. So yeah, I've had this thought, well, there needs to be a, a start to finish online resource that shows people what the benefits are and then guides them through an understanding in a way that doesn't put them off, you know, in a way that's kind of clear and, and, and fundamental but kind of relatable and neutral, kind of the way we work within organizations. Yeah, I mean, it has to be tangible for, for people to sort of be, begin to even entertain incorporating yeah. it into their life. So, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, so it took us two years, but we put together this online platform. We designed the whole platform from scratch. So, and it's like nine core lessons that guide you through. And after you, and and then you. After each lesson, you can explore how it applies to all different areas of life, like relationships, business, anxiety, well-being, happiness. So it's kind of you, you're guided through these core lessons that you do step by step, and then you can explore how it applies to lots of things. So you can really get the richness and you have the learning progression and structure. So you, 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 you can self-study, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it really makes a tangible understanding of this um, that can have impact available to anybody because it's, you know, it, it, it's, uh, you know, 85 pounds for the, for a year's access to all these videos and anyone can start the, 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 the beginnings free. So you can kind of, people can go on it. The other thing we did it for at Dell is that often people who understand the principles want to refer others Mm -hmm. But they're not sure. Will they like it? Will it will it make me look weird? Will it look? Will they, will they think it's weird? So the beginning of it's free, and the idea is that you can refer people to it with confidence that they're not going to say, "What's that with you referring me to that?" <laughs> you know? Which is probably projection on my part too, because that's where I started. I'm like, "What is this? Is weird?" You know. I know. I, I always say that too. I I was a slow burn in the beginning too. I had a lot of yeah buts and um. Yeah. But it gives me an appreciation for other people. I I have I don't have that expectation. Like, what are you not seeing? It's like, no, it took me a while to see. So, um, yeah, that's I think that really cool. helps our practice. So, um, that that's sounds great. wonderful. So, what is it called? And um, and is it up and running now? Or yeah, 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 it's up and running now. Um, you can start for free. Um, it's uh, it's we call it our online our online course. And it's uh, at onethoughtonline.com, and and you can you can read about it. You can there's almost two hours of videos you can watch to see if you like it. Um, mm -hmm. The feedback's been great. You know what's been really interesting, Dell, is that I've heard from a lot of people that that there are a good number of people that have got affected by it. You know, because we, we work with people one on one, and we talk it through with them, and we kind of help them kind of get affected and. It was surprising to me that people were, you know, we were getting emails from people that were feeling better or feeling less stressed and or lost their job and feeling like they're going to be okay, that they don't get lost in worry and insecurity. So it's been 
really heartening to see that it's it's kind of actually working for people I, I kind of almost cried when I started getting that I was like this is two years you know I'm like it's working <laughs> oh that's so great I love that because I have I often have clients that are like well can you recommend some books and can you um you know and I have my I have my book list yeah. of who I recommend but this sounds like a fabulous resource so yeah, yeah I think it really is yeah so it's really, yeah. really wonderful. So yeah. tell me, um, tell me some of the, I, I love hearing stories. So tell, tell me somebody that was really impacted, what they shared about the impact it had on them. On their, um, from on the their online, online course. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, um, there's a few that we, we hear kind of, you know, so uh, one of the uh, feedback that I've got. So um, I have a kind of someone that's a colleague of ours that works in the same field and uh, she's been uh, getting her clients to watch it mm-hmm. and, and then talking to them about that. So she had this one client who uh, was in the cruise industry and uh, during COVID, essentially their ship got stopped in the Middle East and they got ended up kind of in a Middle Eastern hospital, uh, you know, kind of in the, and they were kind of, um, kind of struggling with that you know because they were trapped there and they couldn't talk to anybody and they were on their own so she got him to watch it and and all of a sudden he's doing great in the hospital he's totally fine and and, and talking to other people about it you know and yeah. so he got someone else to buy it and then he did with them what she had done with him like got him to watch it talked it through with them you know and, and uh you know started off like oh my god this is terrible i'm trapped here i don't know how long i'm going to be here this is really terrible to like oh this is <laughs> no problem <laughs> why would why would you worry about where you are you know it's kind of coming from your own thinking so so that that was really nice to hear and the other one is i have a a, a friend who runs a company and um he's been recommending it to people um and his uh, other half is a is a doctor who, you know, like many doctors, has a lot to do and is very stressed and very and and he's been trying to get her to learn the principles so she can feel better. And she's, you know, you know, like most of us, doesn't want to be strong armed into anything. So he was saying that he, they have two friends that are doctors that are also really, really generally stressed, generally overwhelmed. And actually he said that they had gotten to the point where they love being doctors, but they'd gotten to the point where they were so stressed and overwhelmed that they really were wondering whether it was worth it. And they were, you know, thinking that maybe they would kind of do something else. And, you know, they kind of felt like they tried anything in the handwork. And he said it was really interesting because he'd recommended the course to them and they'd taken the course. And when they came to dinner, they were really at ease. And he said, it's fascinating because they didn't talk about what they learned, like, oh, I learned this concept and that. Con-. They didn't really have anything to say about it. They just felt differently about everything. It just didn't make sense that they were stressed. They were very at ease. They were enjoying their work. They didn't have the same issues that they'd had. And, and it, what was so heartening about that was that he was saying that it's interesting because when people start to learn the principles, often they're very enamored by what they're learning, but it's on their mind. It doesn't kind of get into their life mm-hmm. sometimes. And he was saying it was it, it, it really stood out to him the way that they obviously understood it because they were they were navigating their own experience differently. Yeah. Um, and, and that 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 was really uh really really nice to hear it was really really nice to hear yeah as as you were speaking there and sharing that i was thinking about you know um my experience of being in therapy for 30 years <laughs> and um and when i came across the principles it wasn't like the things that i would go into therapy and talk about all disappeared they certainly yeah, did right. but i it sort of like dawned on me and i thought I'm paying $250 once a week to go and share my thinking with somebody. It's like, I don't have to do that anymore. And it was just, I mean, it was amazing. I just was like, it just, that was it. I just, 
I know what's going on. I know what I'm doing. Why would I do that anymore? But nothing else had changed in my life. That's but amazing. just that simple knowing that was just my thinking was, yeah. you know, that was creating the suffering about the yeah. situation. So, yeah. yeah, that's that's incredible. That's amazing. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I want to get yeah. I want to get stuck into this. So just um, tell me again. I know you said it's it's you can self pace, but um, how long if you just you know how many hours is it in total? Would you say? Oh well, there's over seventy videos in all. Um, so there's nine core lessons, and the core lessons are between ten to thirty five minutes long each one. So I don't know. There's a few hours there. And then the, the supporting materials on the different topics could be anything from two minutes. So you might oh, listen to a quick one on anxiety uh, up to 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a good number of hours on there, but you have a whole year to explore it. You can, all, you, you can do longer than a year. Um, so you can really go at your own pace and, and, and then you can rewatch things. Uh, and there's some videos from Leela, so you have different perspective on on things and different metaphors and uh, a different way of looking at it. And, and a lot of it's kind of fun because it's like, it is kind of fun when you take a different perspective on on the mind and experience and you start to look at all the patterns and you're not taking it so personally. I, re I really, really like what you said about the therapy. It's such a good example of how as soon as you see something with clarity and it doesn't make sense, it, it just doesn't make sense anymore. Like you just do yeah. something differently. I know. And, and that's, that's what I love about the course is like, there are so many things that we believe or assume that make our lives harder, that as soon as you see they don't make sense, you don't have to do anything. It's just, oh, that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense anymore. No. exactly no. well i love that this is happening right now because as we were just talking about we've all yeah. we're all be i've certainly become a hermit but um there's a lot of people stuck at home still i yes. don't know what it's like in london but um uh, in la we had a pretty serious you know going back to being you know yeah. um, not eating in restaurants and set for outdoor dining and things like that so people are spending an awful lot of yes. time at home right now yeah. so and a lot of people that don't know what we know are worried about yes. how long this is going yeah. to be or how it's yeah. impacting. So it's the timing yes. is absolutely perfect. And um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So is there anything else we're going to sort of a short one? So is there anything else you'd like to leave our listeners with? Well, yeah, I I love. I mean, the thing that's been so useful and life changing. It's so simple that the, the idea that the way that you feel is part of your psychological system, it doesn't come from the world around you. And, and what that did for me, Del, which is linked to what you were saying, is I was kind of building off what you were saying, is that you can start to see that our state of mind and the way that we feel is independent from our circumstance. Mm -hmm. and and what you described like I, I i've seen it a lot lately that you're right that people people are nervous and scared and i understand that and they don't understand that that's a state of mind not an unavoidable experience of uncertainty and danger because there is uncertainty and there is danger right I mean, there was before but exactly. we've, but we're very aware of it now that there's uncertainty and danger and if people think that that is linked to the situation, unknowingly, they fuel it in their own minds, right? And so they suffer unnecessarily because they can't see the separation between their clarity of mind and their circumstance. And the thing that's really touched me today is that I can see that that assumption, the kids are picking it up. Mm -hmm. The kids are picking it up. Like, you go out and you meet some people or you say hello to them and, and the kids are like, are they going to give me COVID? Are they going to give me COVID? And, and, and the kids are picking up. It makes sense to be frightened because of the uncertainty and danger. And they don't realize that's optional and it's not helpful and it's not good for you. And so there's, there's this potential loss of innocence where children are picking up from adults that don't understand this, that it, it, it makes sense to live in fear because there's a big bad X 
<laughs> you fill in the blank, whatever it is. And I just feel for this next generation. And I, but I'm hope, but I'm, I'm I wanted to say something because you, we don't have to settle for that. Mm -hmm. Right. There's an under, we can start to appreciate there's wiggle room between our feelings and our circumstance. And it's, it's very natural to be less trusting of our upset and insecurity such that we start to feel more at ease and we get our perspective back. And when you do that, your kids pick that up. Oh, it's okay. It's okay to feel okay. I don't need to be on alert. I don't need to be nervous. Yes, there's COVID. We wear a mask or whatever they think is appropriate. But, but just that separation of our state of mind and our circumstance is, is just so important right now um and it, it occurred to me while you were talking about that so i just wanted to share that no i love that and it's and it is so true and i have a lot of people say to me how come you're you know like taking this also and i i definitely take precautions and everything like that but but the my state of mind is so so sort of level yeah. right now and it really is yeah. it's the knowing that it's you know it's what we make of our circumstances and the people yes. in our lives not they're the not not the ones causing our feelings yes. but what we make of it so yeah that's a yeah. beautiful point to end on and uh, it's such a delight to see you again as always yeah so, you too. um love to the family thank and, you um hope to see you again soon i hope we can start traveling i'm hoping that the yeah. conference will be in person next year well there is a plan for an in in, yeah. in in person conference yes i hope so too all right lovely well yeah. take care bye bye thank you bye thank you so much for listening to the show if you're interested in learning more about my coaching and mentoring packages please reach out to me at delladyjones at gmail.com i would love to hear from you 